Greetings dear viewers, you are on the Global Battle Channel. In this issue on demand, you discover two unusual features, namely two alien monsters, Predator Upgrade, well, or the perfect Predator and Alien Queen. You asked for a video for the Predator, and I decided to choose exactly these characteristics, since they are more suitable for each other and, as always, we will consider all their parameters and try to dream up their meeting. Let's go! A Wayland Industries satellite detects a heat wave on Bouvet Island, Antarctica. Judging by the thermal model, the heat source is a pyramid, somewhat reminiscent of the Egyptian and Aztec ones. Scientists assumed that these were the remains of a former developed civilization and organized an expedition from a group of scientists. Upon arrival in Antarctica, the expedition discovers that in the thickness of the ice, someone has drilled a tunnel leading to the pyramid. Not finding anyone who could do this, the scientists still decide to go down. Leaving several members of the expedition in the large hall, the rest went to the hall below, where they find a sarcophagus with contents unknown to people. Taking it away, people unknowingly activate the mechanism of the pyramid, as a result of which it begins to rebuild, and eggs appear in the large hall, from which unknown parasites hatch and infect people. And after a few hours unknown creatures begin to emerge from the infected. And it was precisely these creatures that were hunted by representatives of other extraterrestrial civilizations. And one of them was predators. Several predators arrive on the island and descend to the pyramid to begin their hunt. After killing all the representatives of these creatures they get to their queen. And the queen destroys them all. Representatives of the predators, having failed, modify one of their representatives in all respects superior to ordinary predators and the wound of their modified species. And this monster is sent to Earth to destroy the Queen in order to preserve the honor of the Yautza. Let's start with the Predator. This character is fictional and belongs to the universe about predators. Also known as Predator Upgrade, Ultimate Predator, or Predator Killer. But it will be correct to call it the Predator Upgrade. He was modified with the genes of the most dangerous creatures in the galaxy thanks to which he became larger, stronger and more resilient. In a word, this monster is the strongest among predators. As for the Alien Queen, this character is also fictional and belongs to the universe about aliens we can say that these characters have one universe and have intersected more than once. The Alien Queen is the most powerful member of the Xenomorph race and has commanded all the rest of her species. Let's start with dimensions. Upgrade's height is 3.5 meters, and in other respects he also looks impressive, and the height of the Xenomorph is 4 meters, in principle. The difference is not entirely significant, except that the volume is given by the tail and something like crests on the head. But still, the Alien Queen is a larger than the Alien Assassin. In terms of strength, the Predator upgrade is much stronger than any person and representatives of his race. For example, we saw how he threw Predators without experiencing any difficulties. He could also tear off a person's or Predator's head along with a spine without much effort, and what's with the heads? He could simply tear them apart with his bare hands. The Alien Queen also has great strength and was also able to easily tear people or other creatures apart. Well, in terms of strength, they have a Approximate equality. In terms of agility upgrade due to his improved physiology, he has lightning fast reflexes and can dodge bullets. The reaction is superior to other creatures and is able to jump tens of meters without any problems. The alien queen also has superhuman speed, much faster than other beings. But during the ovipositor, she is limited to movement and can be taken by surprise. However, she can leave the ovipositor. But still, in this regard, the upgrade looks faster and more agile. In terms of durability, upgrade has a subdermal exoskeleton that none of the Yautja have. And while this protection is active, he is not afraid of firearms, explosions, or even plasma shots. This monster is truly invulnerable. The uterus also has strength, it has a strong shell and in other parts of the body there is protection of various types, for example. On the head there is the comb, mentioned above, under which she can cover her head if necessary. 
but it's worth noting that the alien queen could be injured by any of the predator weapons and thus could be decapitated. There is also a clear advantage in the direction of the upgrade. Let's finish with the intellect. The Predator upgrade showed a very unsurpassed intelligence, but according to the film, he flew to Earth and completed his task, but instead of leaving back, he preferred to arrange a showdown with people and a certain animal instinct was observed behind him, which led him to destruction. And as for the Queen of Aliens, there is a clear advantage in her direction. It is generally accepted that she has an instinct at the human level and she could act much more tactfully. Well, let's not go deep here, because everything is clear with this. Well, first, let's look at what they could match against each other. It was said in the wound that the alien queen could be hurt with any of the predator's weapons, and that this was within the power of normal predators. And if we talk about the ultimate predator, then he could do a lot with the queen. He had a variety of weapons in his arsenal, wrist blades, throwing blades, a harpoon, and firearms such as a compact plasma cannon. Just like all predators, he has a disguise for an unexpected attack. As for the alien queen, she has a very modest arsenal. She has several limbs, thorns on her back, a deadly tail, which is very effective in close combat and, of course this is caustic acid blood which she can spit from a distance, but the chip of all strangers is close combat, although it is unlikely that an upgrade, having such an arsenal will allow the queen to come close, yes, he can deprive her of limbs with just a plasma gun, I note that the plasma gun is not the same as that of ordinary predators, the upgrade has it more powerful, yes, at least let's say that everything came to close combat, the predator has a high level of hand-to-hand -hand combat, and therefore many creatures have little chance in open combat, Let's say the queen, using intelligence tactics, grabs Upgrade and strikes with her tail, but Upgrade has a strong exoskeleton that is unlikely to pierce the bony tail of the queen. Now the most important thing is the acid. The Predator Upgrade, the previously mentioned exoskeleton, is made from the same matter that some types of Predator melee weapons were made from. They were not corroded by the blood of strangers, so Upgrade is not a hindrance to the acid of strangers. I think Predator Upgrade would definitely win, but as always, you can name your own version of the winner. Dear viewers of the channel, what do you think? Who would win? Write your options in the comments. See you soon.